Good morning, Moroha Hawks. Today is Thursday, January 20th, 2022. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart and face the flag. One, two, three. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Bucket Fillers Pledge. One, two, three. I promise to do my best every day to be a bucket filler, not to dip and to use my lid for myself and others at home, at school, and everywhere I go. It is a rainy one out there today, huh? And, and a little bit cold. I think it's freezing, starting to freeze and turn over to snow. I'm, I'm glad you have your scarf on, Douglas, because it's, it's a little chilly, right? Yeah. <laughs> so Douglas and I look at today's calendar. Uh, it's an interesting one. I was, uh, I don't know if I was aware of this or not, but it says the U.S.-Canada border. So our neighbors to the north, you know the country Canada? You, you do? Have you ever flown there before? You have? Yeah, it's a very lovely country, isn't it? The U.S.-Canada border is the longest border in the entire world without a military defense. So it's a friendly border. You can cross over the border as long as you've got your passport, right? Because you are traveling to... Do you, get, do you have a passport? No need for a passport. You just fl you just fly right over. Well, that's kind of neat. Yeah, but if you're a U.S. citizen, you need a passport to travel to Canada. Uh, I remember going to Canada for the first time when I was a kid. I was probably in middle school, and we had the opportunity to go see a Yankees baseball game against the Toronto Blue Jays. That was a lot of fun. Uh, we also got to see Niagara Falls. If you've not been to Niagara Falls, I highly recommend it. It is just breathtaking, right? Takes your breath away. Yeah. Um, so that's a cool fact. Um, what was the other thing I was thinking about? Oh, I know. I think yesterday we sent home our first sheet for reading incentive, which kick, kicks off next week. And for four weeks re leading up to February vacation, we're going to do reading incentive each week. Uh, I'm, I'm so excited for it. Our pack has been such a big help with this. And uh, our bulletin board in the, in the cafeteria is going to showcase all of the minutes read by all of our hawks. Are you going to read too? You are? Awesome. Um, and the theme is really neat this year. I have a special book. We'll kick it off tomorrow at lunchtime. I'll share some more thoughts. And, and uh, yeah, you can come. I don't see why not. You like to read? Okay. Um, let's see. There is a birthday today, too. Today is the 20th. So very happy birthday to Jackson McDonald today, Jackson. I hope you have a fabulous day. Enjoy your birthday, buddy. Don't forget to come on down to the lobby and get your birthday book. And uh, Douglas actually found a riddle. You, yeah. I was proud of you. He found a riddle that he wanted to, to share. And uh, I'm not going to tell you the answer. I'll tell you the answer tomorrow. I think that's a good idea, right? All right, so here's the riddle. Maybe you know the answer. If you do know the answer, go ahead and write it down and uh, put it in the mailbox on Mrs. Sullivan's door. A cowboy arrives at the ranch on a Sunday, stays three days, and leaves on Friday. How is that possible? Oh, you know? Oh, you're a smart bird. A cowboy arrives at the ranch on Sunday. He stays three days and leaves on Friday. How is that possible? I said he. I guess a cowboy could be a, a girl, right? Cowgirl, cowboy, I don't know. Why not, right? Yeah. So if you know that, that answer to that riddle, let me know. Also, thank you to the friend who left a special treat on my desk. I super appreciate it. That was super kind of you, right? Yeah, maybe I'll share with you too. Why not? All right, Hawks. Until then, uh, don't forget. I say until then. What does that even mean? Until tomorrow. Um, don't forget, wear your masks, wash your hands, keep your distance. And Mr. Higgins and Douglas love you very much. Bye.